So, in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing loops in C++. In the previous video, we have discussed do while loop, right? So, now in this video, we will discuss some practice problems on do while loop, right? You will write two programs using do while loop. So, this would be something like, uh, you know, coding exercise for you guys. So, first program is what you have to calculate sum of positive integers, right? Now, what kind of output I want? See, first of all, the problem is you have to find out sum of positive integers, but you have to understand, right? What is this problem statement, right? What kind of output I want? According to that, after that, you have, you, you know, you need to start writing program, okay? It's not like that. Just start writing hash and clue, I use stream using new CSTD and this is, no, 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 no. Logic is very important. So for that, you have to understand the problem statement first, right? If you have any question, you can ask. Right. So what kind of output I want? Let me just show you. So this type of output I want. See, it will ask enter a number. I'm entering 1. Again, it will ask enter a number. Suppose 10. Next, suppose 2. Next, suppose 20. Next, suppose I'm entering now minus 5. So it will print sum is 33. Sum of positive numbers only. 1 plus 10 plus 2 plus 20 is 33. Minus 5 is not in the sum. So, 33 it should print. This type of output I want. Now, pause the video and write down the logic for this thing before seeing the solution. So, this is the output we want, right? Now, how you can write down this thing? First of all, think the logic. See, you have to write down this. Obviously, this statement is executing again and again. Enter a number, enter a number. So, it, it is asking again and again from the user. So, you have to put this statement in loop. And we write down this with the help of do while loop. So do and this is suppose do while loop. And here we will write some condition. This is the general syntax, right? So here somewhere we have to write down this line. Like we can write down C out because this would you need to print. You need to put this line in a loop because it, this line is executing again and again. Enter a number, right? And C in what variable I am taking int number and after, before this do while loop outside of this body of the loop I am taking a variable int number why outside of this loop why cannot I write here I int number rather than here because see this it will ask from the user till the number is positive means while the number is positive you are entering a positive number loop will continue as soon as you enter a negative number, loop will terminate and it will just do some of these positive numbers only, not this negative number. Only some of positive numbers. So you have to put some condition on number. If the number is negative, stop. So in while loop, we put condition on number. That is why this number, we are using this variable outside, outside of this loop body, right? So you have to declare this outside of this loop body. If you declare here, not here, then it will give error. Number greater than equal to 0. While the number is greater than equal to 0, it will repeating the statement, it will repeat these statements. Enter a number, enter a number, enter a number. As soon as you enter a negative number, stop. So now, sum of these numbers, I hope you know the logic, sum. So let's declare another variable also sum and initialize it with 0 better because otherwise maybe it will take some garbage value at starting and in garbage value if you add 1 it will give some garbage value so better to initialize it with 0. Now where to write down this sum here or here suppose you are writing here sum equal to sum plus number right and after this I am just printing c out what you will print the sum is the sum is and the variable is sum right and return 0 and that's it and here we can write down into main and above the header file and all right now what will happen see okay now we have a number it will take some garbage value maybe right sum is equal to 0 and we have sum Sum is 0 and a number is we don't have, any, we haven't initialized this number. So do C out enter number, it will ask a number 1. So 1. 
okay now sum is equal to sum plus number so sum becomes 0 plus 1 1 right again now it will check the condition number we have entered is 1 so 1 is greater than equal to 0 yes so again it will enter here so again it will ask enter a number we have entered 10 right this time 10 sum plus number 10 plus 1 is 11 so check at this time number is 10 10 greater than equal to 0 yes condition true again it will enter here again it will ask enter a number we have entered 2 sum plus number means 11 plus 2 is 13 at this point of five number is 2 condition true yes again enter here again it will ask enter a number suppose we, i have entered 20 sum plus number means 20 plus this is 33 at this point of time number is 20 so 20 greater than equal to 0 yes condition true again it will enter focus at this point again it will enter here and it will ask enter a number now i have entered a number minus 5 okay this point of time minus 5 so now this statement this statement would be executed before checking the condition sum is equal to sum plus number so number is at this point of time number is minus 5 so at this point of time it will become 27 right and after that we will check number is minus 5 minus 5 greater than equal to 0 no condition is not true exit from the loop and it will print sum is 27 so in this logic we have we have done what it will add it will add this minus, negative number also and the sum would be rather than 33 27 but we don't want this we don't want to add this negative number we only want sum of positive numbers only one change you have to do so what you can do before what we want it will ask enter a number and after entering the number just after entering the number it should check the condition right so this line you ne need to skip as soon as you enter a number minus 5 it will check the condition condition is not true it will not do some out of the loop so where you can put this line before asking the number sum is equal to sum plus number this should be the correct logic here we cannot write down this line right Now one more change you need to do. Now here suppose here we have done so num is equal to nothing sum is equal to 0 right. Now it will enter sum is equal to sum plus number. Now at this point of time number is any garbage value because you haven't initialized this thing. So sum becomes 0 plus garbage value some garbage value. So sum is now some garbage value and when, when whenever you enter number 1 so garbage value plus 1 it will give some garbage value unexpected result right so what you can do to rescue from this situation to rescue yourself from the situation we can initialize number with 0 at first number is equal to 0 number 0 sum 0 so at this point of time sum is equal to sum plus number sum would be 0 only and then it will ask enter a number and this 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 now you will get 33 so this should be the logic right you can dry run this dry run this program right and you will get 33 only so this is how rather than just copying and pasting this correct code you have to try at your own right because maybe sometimes line would be here and you think that yeah these three lines are here and this is the correct logic because you haven't tried that thing right so try different different logics right rather, rather than just copying and pasting the correct logic from youtube or from google and all right write down your own logic first right so this is the first exercise next exercise is let me just show you what type of output i want so see this is the code that i we have discussed sum of positive numbers only right now let me just run this and show you the output. See it will ask enter a number 1, then suppose 10, then 2, then 20, and minus 5, any minus number and sum is 33. So this type of output we want, right? So next problem is we want something like you can say simple calculator. 
but what kind of output I want see see at first whenever you will run it should show you the choices one choice one is for addition two for subtraction if you press three then multiplication then four for division and if you press Q small Q or capital Q then it will quit and then you'll ask enter your choice suppose I am entering two so it will print you chose two subtraction right then it will ask enter two numbers separated by a space suppose I am entering five and two enter it will show subtraction is three and then after again it will show you these the menu and it will ask your your choice now if you press suppose four it will show you you chose four that is division and enter two numbers separated by a space suppose I am entering four and three so it will print a division is one right and again it will show you the menu now suppose I am entering Q small q or capital Q suppose I am entering small q q means quit so it will say goodbye that's it so this kind of thing I want and if you enter any other choice rather than 1 2 3 4 and q suppose I enter 6 7 8 suppose let's run this again and I'll show you see enter this enter your choice I am entering suppose 7 so it will show you wrong choice try again if I enter suppose H wrong choice try again and it will show you the menu right so this type of output I want so let's pause the video and try this with do while loop within do while you can use maybe if else or switch statement it's up to you okay so I hope you have tried this program let's write down this program first thing we want is what within do while loop see we want that 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 menu should be repeated again and again right obviously that thing also we will write down that do while loop in that do while loop but first time without checking any con condition it should show you the menu so in do while loop also do while is also exit control loop so one time it will run those statements and after that it will check the condition right so what we will do suppose uh, in this do while this is some so here in this block we will write down some condition so first thing what we want is that menu should be printed right so it is just for decoration purpose this line right like this you want to print like first and first is for as it is you have to write down that thing in C out addition right and same just copy and paste this line it should ask after that it should ask enter your take a choice variable and obviously condition you will put on what variable on choice because choice is one either one two three four or q or anything else right so on choice variable we have to put some condition so choice variable what we will do the choice variable should be declared outside of this loop of the body right so here I am taking int so not int we are taking care because q is character so care choice right now okay it will ask this thing now obviously if choice is one then it will do addition so now you have to put some condition i am using here if else statement you can try this with a switch statement also so now we will see if this choice is equal to is equal to one because this is character so we put single quote here so now one would be considered as a character not integer if choice is one then one is for addition so now first line what it should print you chose one 
so in simple c out you can write down c map that output with your program it's not like that just see the output yeah this kind of thing i want and start writing the program from the beginning only no you can write down from do while loop also after that you can write down these header files and all right think the logic according to the output map that thing in your program better is this thing right then you know it will be you will be able to enhance your logic building skill so it should print you chose one and addition this line okay after that it should ask right enter two numbers separated by a space so now if you will enter two number then obviously you will need two variables suppose i am taking a and b but this a and b see red line under under this a and b because identifier p and a is undefined we haven't defined these variables a and b so because this a and b we will just use within this loop of the body better you can declare this a and b here and obviously we want some like here see some a and b now it should do sum i'm taking a variable sum is equal to a plus b right so the sum is also undefined so you have to declare some initialize some better to initialize it with zero so that it will not take any garbage value so we need like this a variable to store subtraction also so sub is equal to zero multiplication is equal to zero and division equal to zero these four variables also we want now some you have uh, calculated now just print some c out in the output addition is as it is we will write down addition is just the variable and e and dl right so if choice is one these statements would be executed right same thing you have to write down if choice is two then three then four same thing right i'm just copying and pasting this thing now if choice is one addition else if because you have to use else if letter else if choice is two you chose two subtraction then again it will ask enter two numbers several by a space a b subtraction a minus b and then it will print else if choice is three then multiplication else if choice is four then division okay now one more thing else if choice is quit for quit choice is choice equal to equal to small q or logical or choice equal to equal to capital q both means quit either you press small q or capital q right then it will print simply goodbye okay other than these if you enter anything else simply you don't need to write else if now else otherwise any other choice if you give rather than 1 2 3 4 and q it should show you a message what wrong choice try again so else see out wrong choice It is same as we write a default in switch case statement. Try again. Right? Now, better to write e n d l here also. Okay. Now, nothing else we want within this loop. Now you have to put the condition in this while. Right? So, till you don't press small q or capital Q, it should run. If you have pressed small q, it should quit. If you have pressed capital Q, then also it should quit. Right? Now, what should be the choice? Choice not equal to small q and choice 
not equal to capital Q. Choice is not equal to small Q or capital Q, it should run, right? If choice is small Q or capital Q, it should quit. So obviously this should be the condition, but we cannot put logical over here. You can try out this thing. If you put logical over here, then it will not run according to, you know, whatever we have expected the output. So it should be logical and, right? Simply return zero, right? And let's save this and run this. I hope now you would have to write down a program. Let's run this. See, the menu is here, enter your choice, one. You chose one, addition. I'm entering two, number two and three. Addition is five, again it will show you the menu. I'm entering three. You chose three, multiplication, right? Enter two numbers separate by space, four, six. Multiplication, uh, multiplication is 24. Again, again suppose I'm entering choice seven. Wrong choice, try again. Okay, I am entering E, wrong choice, try again. I am entering small q, goodbye and exit. If you enter capital Q also, then also goodbye and exit. That's it. So this was the program. I hope you got how to write down this program, right? So if, let's just write down here logical or and try this out. You try this out, what output you are getting because so you have to put here logical and. If you put here logical or in that case, what will happen? See, suppose I'm entering choice uh, is, uh, entering choice Q, small Q, right? So, okay, after checking all the if else, this if else is true, this, because choice is small Q, right? So this is true, so it will be true, so it will, uh, what print goodbye and then it will check the condition choice not equal to small q but we have entered small q this condition is what false right because we have entered small q and the condition is choice not equal to q but this is q so this is false okay fine but in logical or we have to check that second condition also choice not equal to capital q this condition is true because choice is small q na and we are checking for capital Q, so this condition is true. So false and true, in logical or it will give true. So if the condition is true, again it will repeat. It is not going to end, right? That is why we put here logical and you can try this out, right? So I hope you got these two programs, how to use do while loop while writing programs and all. And the next video we will see range based for loops. Now we will see in the next video, till then bye bye, take care.